everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be touring a very special island. This island is inspired by Anne of Green Gables and I cannot wait to tour this island. It's just going to be like nothing I've ever toured before. So as you can see we are actually starting at residence services today instead of the airport that is for a reason we will go into that in a moment so this is the island of Avonlea and it was created by Vanilla and Co Adventures on Instagram we will start off with the map so we have quite a few resident reps today. So we have Jade, Anne, Gilbert, Diana, and then for the villagers, we have Shep, Maple, June, Marshall, Daisy, Maddie, Chevre, Fauna, Blair, and Nan. So we have some beautiful villagers. The map looks absolutely gorgeous. There's a big lake by the looks of it, so I will be looking forward to seeing that because I always love a good lake on islands. So the dream address is on the screen if you would like to tour this island yourself and I will also put it in the description for you as well along with any codes that the creator has used. Okay, so for the tour today, I have quite a few notes about this island. So I will try and explain certain parts of the island that the creator has given me. Now, we have started at Resident Services because she has suggested that upon arrival, she highly recommends jumping through the pipe at Resident Services to begin your visit at the train station. Um, there are some gifts there as well and then we are to head up a white ramp to go through the scenic route of the island so there is a pipe just here so we will pop through here let's have a look okay so here's our gifts so if we pick all these up There's quite a few, which is nice. Okay, so we've got to try not to drop these now. <laughs> okay, so we have a lacy parasol, a watering can, a pocketbook, a linen dress, a matronly bun, some lace-up boots, paperboy cap, oh, I always do that at some point, <laughs> we were doing quite well then as well, <laughs> and we've got a straw boat, okay, so if we, uh, should we go with the bun? We are to start at the train station, which looks absolutely amazing. She has done such a good job here. I can never get train stations to look this good. It is absolutely amazing. And I love the little codes that she's used on the lamp posts here. That's absolutely beautiful. And I get a feeling it's going to really tie in very well with this island. I love these little items, they're just so cute <laughs> and I love the little newspapers that she's put down as well, it's just all so stunning, so so beautiful, do you know what, I've just realised we've missed a present, <laughs> let's have a look at that one 
as well. Oh, we've got a wig with a ribbon. There we go. I'll wear that because that is actually my favourite hair item in the game. So, we are to start at the train station, which we are at. We've picked up our gifts and we have now been suggested to head up the white ramp through the scenic route of the island. Now, this is the same route Anne would have travelled with Matthew to Green Gables. So, we will go and have a look. Oh, we have more gifts here. She's been very, very generous. And we'll pick all these ones up and we'll see what else we've got. Try not to drop them this time. <laughs> so, we've got a flower petal basket. Some corduroy pants. Oh, a ladder. We might be needing that then, I'm assuming. Okay. We've got lots and lots of gifts here. Oh, what's those? Let's have a look. Oh, they're quite nice. Okay, right, so. We will have a look through this. I love all these little wheat items. They're so, so cute. Oh, and the little milk can here. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. Oh, and the little bunnies. Oh, this just reminds me of a beautiful English countryside. It's so, so beautiful. And I love this brick path that she's used as well. So many beautiful flowers. And there's Daisy. Look at all these beautiful flowers, it's so gorgeous. Wow. Oh, is that a resident reprisal? Should go and see who that is. Oh, they've disappeared. Where have they gone? There they are. <laughs> Diana. Have you seen Anne? <laughs> Not yet, unfortunately. Okay, I love these pergolas as well. That's what they're called, aren't they, pergola? Oh, look, here's the river, um, the lake, sorry. <gasps> wow. Look at this. I'll do the old camera trick. <gasps> look at that. Is so so beautiful. Such a beautiful scenery. Such a beautiful little lookout area. That is gorgeous. Okay, so this beautiful little area that we are in now, this is called White Way of Delight, which kind of makes sense with all the beautiful white flowers. The real name is called the avenue but Anne doesn't think a name like that is any good for such a beautiful place so it gives it a new romantic name and I think it kind of suits it's just so beautiful with all the little white flowers I think she named it perfectly and then this little lake that we were just looking at absolutely beautiful view is the lake of shining waters again the real name is Barrett pond but Anne renames it and it is a really special part of the story so if we carry on around this path oh there's two paths oh this one just goes round so beautiful. I love the little well as well. <laughs> so gorgeous. Okay, so we'll go up this pathway. Oh, look, we've got a beautiful little picnic area. Oh, we've actually got a home here. I'm not sure if we can get in there. Oh, maybe we can. Okay, so we will have a look. Look at how beautiful this is. 
Oh wow, it's so simple but so, so beautiful. Wow. Oh, I love that. <gasps> Such a beautiful home. Like I say, so, so simple. It's not, it's not been crammed, which I absolutely love, but it's just so beautiful. as well which is absolutely beautiful again lots of those wheat items which I think just top it off so so nicely oh look the little dog <laughs> I love that where that's been placed okay it looks like we have another home a beautiful little picnic area Again, I just think picnic areas are so, so good for the sort of English countryside feel. And I love this little wheat field look. I love running around in them. <laughs> okay, so we'll pop in here. Oh, okay, so this looks like the White Sands Hotel. So this is a hotel in the story that is actually beside the sea. The hotel appears as the fancy location throughout the series and is featured a lot in a sister series called The Road to Avonlea. This is absolutely gorgeous. This does look very, very fancy. So I can understand why it seems like the fancy location. That is gorgeous. Again, she's used just the perfect furniture as well, I think. And I love how she's used the um, little wedding item here and changed the code on it. It's just so, so beautiful. Oh, I'd love to come here for a visit. That is beautiful. Wow. Right, I'm just going to go back to this wheat field a moment because we've actually got, if we stand here and tilt up for the right perspective, we have the lighthouse. This is an iconic location in the 1985 television series. The creator has created a bit of a nautical area behind the lighthouse as a nod to all the characters in the book and television series who are seafaring folk. So we will go and have a look down this little ramp. There's another beautiful little picnic area here. Okay, oh look, we can actually get onto the beaches. Have a quick look while we're this way. So beautiful, look. <laughs> I love the little seaweed items. <laughs> There's not a lot of code on this island so far, but the ones that she has used are just stunning. Like, I love these little leafy items, they're just so beautiful. site is down there along with the little nautical items that she mentioned so we might be able to get down there I've just realized that that's actually the museum and she's hid it very very well <laughs> so that's really really clever okay so we will carry on along this path just make sure we've yeah, we are in the right direction. Oh, we have a house there. Is anybody in? Oh, Marshall's never in, is he? He's always, he's always out and about. Oh, look at this beautiful, it's like a little 
it's like a little orchard maybe. Wow, so so beautiful. I've never seen this before, the little mushroom stall, but with mushroom and algae on it as well. Um, oh, now which way do we go? I think we'll carry on down this way, because judging by the map, that leads us back towards kind of resident services way, so we'll come back to that, I think. Uh, let's go down this way. So here we have, I think I'm in the right location, we'll just go in and double check. I think this may be the school. Yes, it is. I wanted to make sure before. <laughs> I said, yeah, we're at the school. So <laughs> this is where Anne first cracks a slate over Gilbert's head. And there is a little carrot inside to remind us that Gilbert called her carrots and she took years to forgive him for that and later became a teacher here as well but this is again so so beautiful I love the little ranch tables they're very very cute and I love that she's used them in here it just I don't know it just seems to suit it very well and with the den desk as well it's all just it's all been picked so perfectly i think oh and look at the little hats as well on the wall <laughs> oh it's so so beautiful wow i love the wallpaper that she's used as well in here I guess it was. We found Anne. <laughs> She's so pretty. Okay, so we'll go around this way. Look how beautiful this is. Everything about it is just stunning. Okay, and so here we have, I think it's a green gables. Okay, so this is green gables. So we'll go in and have a look. Okay, so Jade has loosely based the design of the interior of the 1985 series. Again, look how beautiful this is. I love the fact that she's used that painting on the wall. <laughs> it suits this island so, so well. Look at this. So beautiful. I wonder if there's anything in the back rooms. Oh, look at this beautiful kitchen. Oh, that is stunning. Is so beautiful and I love the wood flooring as well that's obviously a beautiful coach she's managed to find and I love the little door at the back as well I love this pumpkin oh well that is actually the uh, spooky trick lamp isn't it but it's in the white instead of the orange that's so beautiful It's a little bit darker in here. Oh wow. Again, she's using these beautiful, is it the vintage items I think it is that she's using? But again, they're just so beautiful. 
and tie it in so, so well. Okay, so I have been told to make our way downstairs. So this is where Marilla has been making her famous currant wine. And again, this is amazing. It just looks so good. Wow. You can definitely tell that somebody is definitely making something down here. That is beautiful. <laughs> I love that. vegetable patch. Oh wow, look at this. That is beautiful. Have we met you? It's Anne again. <laughs> oh wow. So beautiful. With the little silo as well. Dolly's pen. So in the Anne series, Anne's cow Dolly keeps escaping and eating Rachel Lynn's cabbages. So the creator thought a pen for Dolly would be a fun nod to the story and it looks amazing. <laughs> I love the little cow pen, it looks so so beautiful. It's just so gorgeous, this island is. Again, a nice little picnic blanket, a lovely spot to read. The relaxing waves. Again, you've got that beautiful view of the sea there. So this must be Rachel Lynn's cabbages then. <laughs> she has put so much effort into this island. It's just amazing. Okay, so here we have, this looks like an apple orchard. I'm just going to check the map. Yes, so this is the apple orchard. So there is a scene in the 1985 series where they are picking apples and you can see Green Gables in the distance. So Jade has tried to re replicate that scene somewhat in this little area. And you can actually see Green Gables. Look, she's done such an amazing job. Such a beautiful, beautiful area. Oh, there's actually an incline here. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, such a beautiful spot for a cup of tea. Look at that. Such a stunning view. Wow. beautiful and there you go you've got a proper view there of green gables as well like wow. this is so so beautiful another little vegetable patch i think actually we've come this have we come this way Yes, so if we carry on back around this way, and then we'll carry on down. It's just so stunning, I just can't believe how amazing this island is. Right, so if we go down this way. Okay, so 
so that leads to the beach where we've just been. I love these little bridges that she's used. Again, they just fit so, so perfectly. And these little wagon items, I love how she's managed to use them. It, they're one item I'd actually really like to use on my islands, but I can never really think of a way to use them where it'd look really good. Wow, look again, they're just so stunning. Okay, so here we have Avonlea. So this is the township. I think someone may be in, so we'll go and have a look at this house. Oh look, oh, the little bed peak is in there, that's so cute. Again, it's just, it's so simple, but it's so, so beautiful, just the items that she's used are amazing. Okay, so... Oh, we said hello? <laughs> it's a beautiful island. Okay, so this is just the little town area. here as well. Oh, we've got another one. Diana. <laughs> we have. We have seen Anne. We can actually say yes this time. <laughs> Again, it's just so beautiful. Look. I just love that this island, nothing is really too complicated, it's just such a simple island but it's so so beautiful. I don't know if anyone's going to be in this house. No. We did see Daisy wandering about. Okay, so we'll go up this incline. I love how she's managed to work that hammock in to the actual island. That looks amazing. And I love that design. Such a beautiful code. Oh, this might be a house we can go in. Oh, we found Chevrolet's home. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, the little harp. Oh, it's so fancy. <laughs> And I love the fact that she's got a little view of the trees outside, look. Oh, wow, Chevrolet, you've got such a beautiful home. Okay, so we will go back down here. We have a few homes, I don't think they're in either. No. I love that she's got both Chevrolet and Nan on her island with them being sisters. It's just, it's so, so cute having them both on her island. Such a beautiful little garden. Oh, and we've got another home here. They look like they're in, so we'll go and have a look. Oh, we've got maple. the little ironwood low table that she's used. Again, it just seems to suit this island very well. Again, with all the little flowers look on the wall. She really has just thought of everything and it just looks so beautiful. Even the little lampshades. It just, yeah, everything just goes so well. And I love the little garden again, 
the use of that little ironwood table with the books on. It's so, so cute. And of course, she's done the books in the vintage version. <laughs> right, so here we have Diana's house. This is set up for Diana's wedding to Fred. The house is full of wedding prep. So we will pop in and have a look. <gasps> look. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love that code look that she's used for the bookcases in over here. That is stunning. I think I'm gonna have to definitely get that code for myself for my next island. Because that would go so, so well with one of the ideas that I've got. There's so much inspiration on this island, look. This is so beautiful. Oh wow, look, even the little pictures. <laughs> It has that beautiful kind of rustic feeling to it. Oh, I'd love to have my wedding here. That's so beautiful. Oh, look. Look at the beautiful wedding dress. Oh, so this is where they come to get ready for their wedding. Look at that code as well. Oh, I love that little window panes and it's almost got like little bits of ivy on it as well that is so beautiful I've not seen that design before so unique this island is amazing I just want to make sure we get back to the footbridge as well at some point but again just here we've still got so many beautiful wedding items I love how she's used the little wedding arch look and the piano and the music stand it's just all so beautiful look oh, and the little lights as well okay so here's the footbridge that we saw earlier I did want to come over here just because the footbridge is where Gilbert first proposes to Anne. So I just wanted us to come over and have a look at this as well. And again, look at that little boat code over on that island. It's so, so cute. Again, I love how she's used the log, the log stakes, sorry, for bridge it's just amazing so I think there is actually a bridge over here to get onto that island so we'll go that way oh look and I think this is actually still part of the wedding is it there's a little wedding cake there so maybe it is look she's even used the little festival items this is a stunning wedding area I would definitely love to have a wedding here it's so so beautiful and now we're back at residence services I'm just gonna check that we have seen everything Okay, I do believe we have actually seen everything on this island. Okay, so I am going to leave the tour here. Thank you so, so much to Jade for letting us tour her island. I am absolutely amazed at what she has managed to create. It is stunning and so, so, so beautiful. I've been wanting to tour this island for a while and I knew I wanted to share it with everyone and I'm so glad I did. I will leave Jade's socials in the description 
along with any codes that she has used. Again, there is a submission form if you would like me to tour your island, feel free to fill it out and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!